Right, I'm going to be doing a third angle orthograph projection of this object over here. It's a model, they call it. Um, you'll see that on the sheet that's been prepared for you, they drew a nice big cross in the middle. I don't want you to use that. I want you to just place another piece of paper over here and get some border lines around there. I want to show you how to place that drawing onto the sheet of paper. Um, showing the length, breadth, and height on that piece of paper so that the different views will fit in perfectly. Right. First of all, look at the length. Length, they say, is 112. Breadth, 96. Height, I've added these measurements together in order to get 122 millimeters. That's that measurement, that measurement, and that radius. Right. What I've got over here, in this quadrant over here, I'm going to end up with a front view. In this quadrant over here, I'm going to end up with a top view. And on the right-hand side over here, I'm going to end up with a right view. Right. In my front view, the two measurements that I'm going to see is the length and the height. I come along here and I measure off the length, which is 56 millimeters. 56 millimeters. I take that and I plant it down over here and I make a little mark at 56. There's my 56. I then say the height of this thing is going to be 61. That's my 122 divided by 2. And I have the height over here and I measure that off. So I end up with 61 as my height to that point over there. Right. Once I've got that, I say in my right view, what two me major measurements can I see? I'm going to have the breadth of it and the height of it. Now, I've got my height already. You can see where that is. I can draw a line going across. There's the height of the object from the borderlines up to there. Um, the breadth of this thing, we said, is 48. So I take 48. 48 millimeters. I come to that corner. I mark that off, and I end up with a measurement of 48 from the corner. Right. Once I've got that, uh, you can see, well, my front view, my front view could fit into that little part over there. My left view can fit into that little part. But I don't want to have it in the corners over there. I'm going to draw it closer to each other. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my set square from these marks, draw a line going that way, draw a line going that way, and from there, I can draw a line. I know that my view will be able to fit into that space. I know that my view will be able to fit into that space. Right? That line over there is not exactly in the middle of my border lines. Right. I now say, okay, what two major dimensions can I see in my top view? Well, I've got my breadth and my length. I've already got my length over here. What is my breadth? My breadth, I said, was 48. I can get that straight off here. I come along here, go to the top over there, mark it off, and there's the top view. My top view would be able to fit into there, but I don't want to have it in the corner. I'm going to try and find the mark that is going to be in the center. So I take my set square, draw a construction line that way, draw a construction line that way, and I draw a line going across like that. These two lines that I've drawn over here, they are construction lines. They are not dark lines. Please do not draw them as dark lines. They must remain as construction lines. I've drawn them much darker than they need to be, just so that you can see the idea. Right, once I've done that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, I want to have my view situated 10 millimeters away from that line. So I mark off over here, 10 millimeters there, 10 millimeters there, 10 millimeters there, and 10 millimeters there. Right, in other words, what am I wanting? I'm wanting a 20 millimeter gap between all of my views. All right, so I've got 20 millimeters, and at that point over there, I can start my front view. 
at that point over there, I can start my right view. And at that point over there, I'm going to start my top view. Right. Whenever I'm drawing one of these drawings, I always start by putting in the center lines. Those are the first lines that you're going to have. And I find out, okay, my top view and my right view have got the center lines happening in them. I'm not starting with the front view. I'm starting with the right view. Why? Because I can see a circle. I could start with a top view. Why? Because I can see a circle. Get those center lines in place and you'll find life goes a whole lot easier for you. Right, let's see. What is the height? Well, we said that the height of this thing was going to be 61 millimeters. I've already measured it over there, so I can bring that across and I can go to that point over there, mark that off, and draw a construction line going across here. It says that it goes up by 24 millimeters, which ends up being 12 millimeters. Measure that off. Draw a line across. It says that I've got 96 millimeters, which ended up being 48 millimeters. Half of 48 is 24. So I measure off 24 millimeters. I come over here and I place a little mark over there, which I can now draw a center line going straight up over here. Center line, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, going all the way up. I can then say, all right, what is the radius of the circle? It is going to be 48, okay, which is 24 millimeters. I'm going to set my pair of compasses to 24 millimeters. And I say, right, the top of the circle is going to be at that point over there. I arc down onto the center line. And I come over here and I draw a construction line circle just to start with. And I find that my construction line circle links up quite nicely over there. I can draw my center lines going across here like that. Once I've done that, I can now draw in my arc, which goes around. And I can now drop that down, straight down. And I can drop that straight down. And I can draw the base of it straight across. And I can draw the base of it like that. It now says that I have a little square in there, and it says that it is square of 48 millimeters. What I would do there is I would say, all right, what is 48 divided by 2? That is 24 divided by 2 is 12 millimeters. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little construction technique over here. Take my pair of compasses. I'm going to draw a very light construction line circle. You can see that square is in the center. Once I've got that circle in place, I can draw a construction line going across there, a construction line going across there, and I can draw in my square, which makes tangents to that circle that I just drew quite nicely. Right, once I've got that in place, I now have my right view. And now I can take that information across in order to do the front view. Take that across. Take that across. And what am I going to end up with? Well, what is the thickness of this material? It is 24, which is 12 millimeters. I know that the base over here was also 12 millimeters, so I can take that measurement from here. I come over here, and I place that down, and I'm able to draw a line going from that corner, going to the top. And I can take a line going down from there. You will note that I didn't draw that in dark straight away. Why? Because I need to find out where it links up with the this part coming out over here. Once I've got that in place, I can draw that line down nice and dark. And I can draw a line going across to show the top of the arc. Uh, you'll note over here, I have a center line. I'm going to draw a center line going through here. Long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. Going across there. 
Right, once I've got that, um, I can now draw in this part over here. It says that I've got a measurement of 24 going across there. So that's 12 millimeters. I've got my measurement of 12 over here. I'm just going to take it off there. Place that over there. Um, I can draw a little line coming down over here. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to take my 24 plus, uh, in fact, I'm just going to take this 112. We said that we had 112, which ended up as 56. Is that correct? 56. Take that, place that over here. And I can draw in this line coming over here. Right, I'm going to draw in the base. And I'm going to draw in this line over here. You'll note that I have two lines that I need to draw in over here. I'm not going to draw those in just yet. I'm going to first draw my top view in order to get those that arc in the right place. And then I'm going to drop that information down. Right, let's have a look at that. I'm going to take lines up from my front view over here to draw in my top view. I'm also going to be able to find information using a 45 degree line over here. If I take lines coming from this right view up to there and the right view going up to there, I can take that information across over here to get the width of it in my top view. Right, once I've got that, I can come along here and I can draw in a line going across from there to there. It notes it's a construction line. From there to there, I can draw that in dark straight away. Draw that in dark straight away. Why? Because I'm able to see those two lines. Um, you'll note I didn't do that as a dark line, but I can do this back line as a dark line because it goes all the way from the back right to the front. Right, so I bring that down over here. I need to find out where that center mark is over here. You can see that that mark is going to be exactly in the middle. It's 24 from that edge, 24 from that edge. How do I do that? Well, I take my set square, I draw a line like that. I draw a line like that. And that gives me the center line that I need in order to draw, to draw that arc. Long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash. Okay. It says that it is in the middle of this story over here. So I need to find that. I've already got a center line over here. So I can take that up there and take that across over here, giving me the center that I need over here. Long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash. I can now take my pair of compasses set at 20 millimeters, um, which is 10 millimeters. Let me just get a smaller pair of compasses. 10 millimeters coming over here and draw in that arc, which goes around over here. Right. Once I've got that, I can now draw my lines coming down to there and to there. And I can draw in this line coming across to there and going all the way across to there. Right. Once I've got that, I can now draw lines coming down from here in order to complete my front view over there and over there. Right. I'm not finished yet. I will have hidden detail from the square in here and over here. And I will also have that hidden detail showed, shown in over here. So I need to take that up over there. Take that across. And hidden detail line going across there. And a hidden detail line going across there. So there's the square coming up, going across. I also have that center line because it is a... Uh, semi 